हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू डूइंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग ग्रेट सो आई एम वेरी श्योर यू वुड बी नीट एस्पिरेंट्स और मे बी बोर्ड एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट्स एंड यू वुड बी हैविंग बायोलॉजी एज योर सब्जेक्ट सो इवन इफ बायोलॉजी इज योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट और मे बी ईजी सब्जेक्ट यू आर समाइम्स प्रिपेरिंग रॉन्ग फॉर एग्जाम्स दैट इज रिलेटेड टू बायोलॉजी so it can be neat or board exam so when you are studying biology so lot of mistakes actually make lot of problems when it comes to uh, remembering biology so you would be increasing your revision time because of this mistakes so today i am going to point out some of your mistakes while studying biology and i am going to correct those mistakes as well so i am your vindhya ma'am today in this particular video will be giving you some of the important tips on how exactly you have to study biology so let's get started with the video stop studying biology like this so the very important mistake that you do is you by heart right so what exactly you by heart is yeah i know 11th and 12th students won't exactly by heart the concept but when it comes to biology you by heart the terminology so stop by hearting the words as it is so let's just take an example um leucocytes so you would be knowing what are leucocytes leucocytes are wbcs leucocytes are wbcs and i'm very sure you would have by hearted it like leucocytes are wbcs like that's how you know but have you tried understanding what exactly this means so for which you have to break this complex term into small parts so you have to go to the roots of these terms like the terms in biology so leuco means what white or colorless am i right cytes means what cells so whenever you see in any um chapters if if anything ends with cytes c y t e s it means it's a cell right and leuco means colorless so what are wbcs they are the colorless cells that is why we have to stain them am i right so leucocytes are colorless cells that is nothing but wbcs so if you have the knowledge of the terms like what exactly the terms mean so then you will be able to understand other similar terms now now you know what is leucocytes so i'll be giving you another term in all another term that is leucoplast so now you know leuco means colorless so plast chloroplast leucoplast definitely it's a plastid right so by understanding the meaning of the term leuco we also now what is leucoplast it's a colorless plastic which is able to store the food materials right so this is what you have to do my dear students you shouldn't be just by hearting the terms but instead of which you have to break the complex terms and understand i understand in ncert they they might not give the meaning of all the terminologies but you have internet so just go to internet and just type the meaning of whatever complex terms that you see and they give the meaning and you are able to understand biology better and because of knowing all this terminologies maybe similar terms when comes in some other chapter you won't find much difficult to remember those so this is how you can actually excel in biology you can remember biological terms better i'm actually easing your you know easing your work right and the second tip so this is actually a topper tip i remember when i was studying definitely i'm not a topper but i had lot of toppers in my class like you know one who score good in exams so i used to carefully see the, see them so they used to study before the class like you know before there is a class before teacher comes and teach teachers so some students used to sit and read whatever the teacher is going to teach right so don't attend class unprepared so when you have intervals like you know before the teacher comes 
whatever she or he is supposed to teach just go through it just run through it just you know read it once okay so when teacher teaches those concept again you are able to understand very well like you understand everything like perfectly okay and after going home all you have to do is just revision right so read the textbook just before the class so this is a topper tip to excel in biology so why am i why i am specifying biology because in physics and chemistry you might not understand just by reading right but in biology we have this advantage and the third important tip is just don't memorize understand so in biology um some students like i can say most of us so what we do is we memorize terminologies we memorize few features of plants or maybe some animal when it comes to animal kingdom plant kingdom but instead of which understand about an animal maybe by watching a youtube video about a particular phyla by looking at some of the images which actually belong to a particular phyla this is just an example i'm giving okay so instead of just memorizing and trying to remember the things just understand it and to understand we have lot of tools we have internet we have uh, you know search engines you have youtube and lot of things right so this is another important tip to excel in biology again in physics and chemistry you can't actually watch a video uh, which is having some animals plants to understand like we can't literally see a process to understand but in biology we have this advantage okay so by understanding again you are able to remember the things for longer time you are able to remember the things and you need not revise a lot okay and the third i mean the fourth one is you shouldn't be just revising once in 15 days or once in a month no if you want to score well in biology it might be neat exam or your board exam you have to revise biology once in a week or even more frequently like once in even 3 4 days it might not sound practical but what you have to do is let's say you have you studied a chapter okay so you studied very well after 2 days just open that chapter and just go through just give 30 minutes for this particular chapter that is how you can do a quick revision okay and the revision should be frequent so after studying uh, like you know uh, like you know, uh, uh, after revision that is after 3 days of of studying like you revise right again after a week you have to revise so there is actually a study i mean a scientific study which actually says uh, like we we study right so after 20 minutes we forget approximately 50 percentage okay i'm not i am not very sure about the percentage like approximately 40 to 50 percentage we forget and after a day we are able to retain only 36 percentage so i just saw it somewhere okay so we tend to forget very quickly especially in biology since it is made up of lot of terminologies features it's very easy to forget so in order to retain the things maximum what you have to do revision is only the key my dear students fine now so we all make handwritten notes i'm very sure you should be making a handwritten notes you shouldn't be copying somebody else notes like you shouldn't be photocopying somebody else notes you have to make your own notes so while making notes to excel in biology and to score well in biology or to remember you know whatever you have studied the best thing is write notes with the help of diagrams that is if you would have seen some five six sentences uh, maybe a process okay make a drawing or diagram of it okay so that is how you can actually reduce the information into a small diagram and you actually feel like go throughing it during exams like when you have exams when it is like 3 4 days for an exam if you just you know go through that particular diagram you are able to recollect everything so write minimum but draw maximum so this is how you have to make your handwritten notes and however if you would have understood only you can make diagram out of you know the information otherwise you can't but if in case if it is possible to make maximum diagrams instead of writing sentences it's going to be your you know uh, 
the small pill just before the exam like you just read the pill and you get it and the next important thing students yeah i i have seen this in my own um, you know 11 12th uh, standard as well as in colleges so usually students don't make their notes so what exactly they do is they take take print outs of their friends notes or maybe their teachers notes so please don't take print outs and in the colleges in the schools there would be a shop which is very famous and during exams lot of students would be standing there to take print outs so by this we understand maximum students don't make their own their own notes and they take print outs of others notes so what happens by this you won't be able to remember by looking at a black and white print out no you have to make your own colorful handwritten notes so imagine you have made a notes while teacher is teaching when you are reading at home you will remember oh ma'am was standing there and she was explaining how i remember this this is how you are able to remember biology this is the right way to study biology you have to make your own colorful handwritten notes if a note is not colorful at least you have to use like two three colors right one to two two is must so if you don't do if you just have a black and white notes you first of all don't feel like studying it and even if you study there is high chance of forgetting because we our brain is good in visuals we see colorful things and we collect it better our brain collects is better collected better so please do your own colorful handwritten notes just take others notes as an inspiration but don't use it okay so that is all for today to excel in biology and i have pointed out lot of mistakes that students do while studying in biology so please you don't repeat the same so i have told what is the solution how exactly the things need to be done so let's meet in the coming class until then bye